Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF, is uh, a disease of unknown origin in which scarring of the lungs happens. We know that there are some risk factors to it, but we really don't know why it happens. There's close to 100,000 patients in, in the U.S., uh, probably five to 7,000 patients in, in the state of Pennsylvania. It is lethal. 50% of the patients uh, with the disease would not, will not live over uh, three years. A few years ago, well, one of our patients, John Barron, passed away with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And her husband, Dan Barron, contacted me and said, how can I help? Uh, how can I make people more aware of this disease? How can I increase research funding? Um, and we came up with this idea that we will create a network of institutions across the state which will improve access to care for patients with IPF, improve access to research, and also um, assess what is really the impact of the disease in the state of Pennsylvania. On September 27th, in 2011, in Harrisburg, we are all gonna meet and educate, continue our works, and have a patient education event. Experts from the Pennsylvania State Registry, uh, from Geisinger, Temple, Penn, Penn State, Hershey, and Pittsburgh will come and explain the disease in a way that patients can understand it. We will speak about the most exciting findings in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, the fact that in recent year, in this year, the gene for the disease has probably been discovered, uh, the finding of biomarkers that predict outcome of patients with IPF, uh, the new drug studies, all of this will be explained and we really encourage patients to come. In this event also, we will take time to really honor the contribution of Dan Byrne. So we will name the Pennsylvania State Registry after Joanne and Dan Byrne. We think that we're all in this together. So we need to work together, uh, patients, family members, community administrators, scientists, clinicians, to make sure that what we find in the science, in the lab, actually gets to the patients.